Diagnosed with Helicobacter pylori, will treating it reduce the chances of developing gastric cancer? Well, the answer is somewhat more complicated than just yes and no. And you're not alone. Almost half of the world is infected with Helicobacter pylori. And even if they go through the eradication therapy, they somehow end up being reinfected quite often. Many patients don't even know that Helicobacter pylori can cause gastric cancer, but those who do find it out tend to get scared and become insecure about it, especially because gastric cancer is a very lethal. This over here is the stomach. In the gastrointestinal tract, it is located between the esophagus and duodenum, and that is exactly where Helicobacter pylori can be found. Helicobacter pylori accounts for up to 60% of cases of gastric cancer. But even your doctors can increase your chances of developing gastric cancer by prescribing proton pump inhibitors too much. The stomach over here is responsible for production of acid. And this acid is required in order to successfully digest food. But if there is too much acid produced, or if we want to reduce acid production for some other reason, we might prescribe proton pump inhibitors. But a long-term treatment with proton pump inhibitors increases gastric mucosa atrophy, and that causes autoimmune reactions and inflammation, and we refer to that as autoimmune gastritis. This gastric mucosa atrophy causes autoimmune gastritis, and autoimmune gastritis causes gastric cancer. But besides doctors doing something stupid, patients can smoke and drink alcohol. So besides this question, oh, what if we treat Helicobacter pylori, will it, you know, prevent development of gastric cancer? There are these things that doctors do and that patients do, and if we stop doing that, we can definitely avoid cancer in many cases. Stomach cancer, however, remains the fifth most common type of cancer, and this is especially important in relation to Helicobacter pylori that I want to explain. 3% of people suffering from a long-term Helicobacter pylori infection actually develop adenocarcinoma. So what are our options? What can we actually uh, do about it? Well, first and foremost, we can subscribe to this channel and like this video because YouTube and other platforms will not suggest our video to other people suffering from Helicobacter pylori and other risk factors as well. Because of that, you can help us help other people by informing them. You don't even have to share this video. You can just like it and subscribe, and that will raise the awareness. And that can literally prevent gastric cancer. But what is the second thing that we can do about it? Well, lifestyle modification. Quit smoking and drinking, and one should stop eating pickled vegetables because they're also associated with gastric cancer. The answer is yes. Treating Helicobacter pylori might reduce cure risk for developing gastric cancer. If the treatment, however, is completed early on before this infection has already caused significant damage to your stomach. The magnitude of risk reduction depends on the timing of the eradication of the Helicobacter pylori, because as you age, your genetic material might deteriorate but also this chronic inflammation might cause damage to it. Now, I already explained how long-term use of proton pump inhibitors might cause gastric cancer. This can happen through atrophy of gastric mucosa and autoimmune gastritis. But Helicobacter pylori can do this as well. And as a result of these changes, even ulcers might develop and treating Helicobacter pylori at this stage 
might not reduce your risk of developing gastric cancer. And last but not least, the fourth thing that can and should be done in this case is to recognize some early signs and symptoms of gastric cancer, weight loss, bleeding, indigestion, and so on. A skilled doctor should be able to answer these questions. Was the Helicobacter pylori treatment successful? What else can be done to prevent gastric cancer from developing? What other risk factors are present? And are any of these additional signs and symptoms already present? And we can all benefit from videos like these. If you're a doctor and you want to make videos like these, then go to anatomsky.com. But if you have more questions about Helicobacter pylori or gastric cancer, then go to symptomsky.com help slash HP.